In this example, I'm going to be showing you how you can implement your own GraphQL error handler. So by default in GraphQL, there's a, a default GraphQL error handler which will automatically be instantiated and will handle yeah, all of the exceptions thrown from resolvers or anything that goes wrong within GraphQL. Now, one alternative is to use the exception handler annotations, which I've just shown in the previous episode. So go and check that out if you haven't already seen it. Or the other alternative is to, to do what I'm going to show you now, and that's to define your own bean that will implement the GraphQL error handler interface. So if we go ahead and do that, we can come in here and we can create our own custom GraphQL error handler. And in here we implement GraphQL, I can't even remember, what is it, GraphQL error handler, just paste that in. And we implement the process errors method because the has errors present method seems pretty reasonable. If there's more than one, then yeah, we're gonna handle it in the process errors. So inside here, this gives us the opportunity to actually customize the errors. So if we're not happy with how these look coming from the classes, then we can disguise the exception messages. We can disguise the type of, of error we wanna send back, or we can just send the whole thing back. So the for the purpose of this demo, I will just send the whole thing back. And of course, this needs to be a spring bean. So go ahead and put a breakpoint. I'm going to put a breakpoint here. And in my client resolver, I'm going to keep this runtime exception, which by default would be hidden. And I make sure that I set the exception handlers enabled to false, or you can remove the line completely. So go ahead and debug this. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to flick back to GraphQL Playground and execute the request. So we throw the runtime exception. And now you'll see that this process error methods, method in my custom error handler is now invoked. And this, this is where we can provide custom logic. In this case, for the sample demo, I'm just going to play it straight back. So we should see this message in our Playground. So here we have it we have the exception message. And by default, we also have the path. So the path from data to where the exception went. So bank account client, this is where we have the problem. And yeah, there's a data fetching exception. We can't get the data from our client. So that's the second alternative. Um, thank you very much. And I will see you in the next episode.